Okay, this is the evaporator coil, and the connection is not air sealed, and the smoke while the machine's running is blown away from it. You can actually look through it very carefully, the smoke really quickly. It's hard to see it because the smoke's moving so fast. But not only that spot is it not air sealed, down at this line set connection right below it is also not air sealed. So these are two spots we can seal it with, with cork tape and um, make some big improvements for air leakage. Also at the very bottom of it where the evaporator drain connection is, it's also not very air sealed. Uh, this, this is, these are spots where you can uh, easily make some big improvements on airflow and also on the effectiveness of not losing that cold air into the attic. I'm on the supply side of a machine, and as you can see, it's blowing condition there where the line sets come in, it's blowing condition there, right out into the open. I'm on the supply side of another machine, and uh, it's blowing condition there into the outside. As you can see, right where the line sets go into the machine. I'm at the top of a uh, overflow pipe, and as you can see, it's not topped off. And it's blowing condition there into the outside. I'm at another HVAC machine on the supply side. Um, as you can see, where the line sets into the machine, it's not air sealed, blowing, blowing conditioned air into out, outside space. I'm at the supply side of the HVAC system where it turns into duct work and it's not properly air sealed, blowing conditioned air into the outside space. I'm on the supply side of an HVAC system on the back side of it. As you can see, there's a crack right here and it's not, it's not properly air sealed because they stopped at this corner.